Hey guys, Buffer Game Back today, bringing our video for our weapon conversion series. Today we're going to be covering the OTS 14 or the Graza 1. So there's a couple different variants, well, two specific variants that are the main production variants of the Graza 1 or the OTS 14. So we'll be going through those, looking at what in game model this is. There's some discrepancies with the in game model, the caliber, and the different versions made. So I'll go through. We'll review the weapon. I'll show you how to build it to most closely resemble the real life OTS 14 or the Graza 1. However, there is some mixes with the Graza 4. Show off some gameplay and we'll see how it handles. So, I'll also go over the recoil control pattern with this weapon too in Cold War multiplayer. So, let's go ahead and jump right into it. And first off, we'll go ahead and back out. And what we'll do is take off all of the attachments for this weapon. I wish you could, unfortunately, you can't do it all with one click like you can in modern warfare but here we go the base weapon again is going to be the graza so this is again unlocked i believe it was the second unlock in the tier one or in the season one battle pass so how do you get this weapon if we go to the battle pass here you can see i've completed it but if we go all the way back i believe this is the one you unlock at tier 31 so let's see here at tier 31 you have the graza so just called the Graza here in game, no specification whether it's the Graza 1 or the Graza 4, but you do get this for free in the Season 1 Battle Pass for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. So let's go ahead and we'll go back to our weapons and we'll go to our creative class. And here we have the OTS 14 1A, which is really what this weapon is in game. And first off, what we'll do is go with the optic. Now you can see the custom carrying handle here, which comes with this weapon. It can mount optics. There are specific versions which you can mount optics on. So because we can do that, we'll go ahead and put a Russian optic on since this is a Russian weapon and we'll go ahead and do the cobra red dot sight this is going to give you the 1.75 magnification just a standard red dot sight um it will not really hinder your ads from what i can tell in cold war however warzone will be a little bit of a different story but with all the bugs with the weapon attachments we don't really know right now but we'll go ahead and do the cobra red dot for the muzzle attachment we'll go ahead and put on the pbs4 suppressor or the gru suppressor this is going to assist with the Muzzle flash concealment, it'll keep you off the minimap, and the vertical recoil control will be reduced by 7%. The cons for this weapon is going to be the 33% reduction, or I should say the increased effective bullet range. So it, your bullet velocity and your effective bullet range will be decreased by 33% over the base barrel. So just to get that straight, it is decreasing your bullet velocity and your effective damage range by 33%. It will not hinder your recoil control though, which is what initially I was looking at some of these other attachments. So we'll go ahead and put that on. However, first off, we're gonna look at the barrel before we attach that. Now in real life, the two different versions are the OTS 14 uh, 1A and 4A, I believe, which is the, the Graza 1 and the Graza 4. Graza standing for the Russian translation being Thunderstorm. But if we look at the barrel lengths, the Graza 1 here in game is gonna be 415 millimeters, which is gonna to come to about 16 inches. So the closest one we have here is the Cavalier Lancer barrel. This is just gonna give you the 200 increased percent damage to the vehicle damage. But we really want uh, something that's gonna actually be more effective in game. So we're gonna go with the 16.7 inch VDV reinforced. Now in real life, as I said, the Graza 1, which is the one chambered in 762 by 39 millimeter, has a 16 inch barrel where the Graza 4 has a 240 millimeter barrel on the Graza 1 here at 16 being 415 millimeters. So the closest we can get uh, is going to be the 16.7, or you could also opt for the GRU comp composite barrel here. This is going to give you the effective damage range of 25% and the bullet velocity of 25%. So you can definitely go with that one. The closer to the 16 inch barrel, however, you will lose on the effective damage range versus the Lancer Barrel. So you're almost better off with the Lancer Barrel, so we'll go ahead and select that. However, if you want to be more so closer to accurate, we can go with the GRU Composite. So for the purpose of that, let's go ahead and put that on. Then we'll go ahead and swap to the barrel, and we'll do the GRU Suppressor or the PBS-4. And then for the body here, we're going to skip out on the body. The the OTS-14s or the Graza variants really never, from my knowledge, had attachments for those type of laser optics that I know of. So we'll go ahead and skip to the under barrel, and we'll go with the just with the standard foregrip for this, mainly for cosmetic purposes. Obviously, you're probably going to want something like the Bruiser or even the Spetsnaz foregrip to help out with the recoil control. But here for this video, we're going to go with just a straight grip being the foregrip for the horizontal recoil control for this one. Now, notice how that's connected on this op on this weapon to the trigger guard to the trigger guard there, similar to how this weapon would handle uh, different grenade launchers. So this is really not how this weapon came in real life. I'll show you a version that has the grip. It really came built in, kind of with its own customized barrel. The grip was built on. It was never a wooden. A wooden grip it was it was more of a plastic or a polymer grip similar to what we saw in the ak100 series of weapons so we'll go ahead and select that now the magazine we're gonna actually leave the base magazine but you can see the different options here 
And the problem with this weapon, we'll go ahead and look at in a minute. But we'll leave the base magazine. We'll also leave the base handle. We won't cover that. And for the stock option, we can go ahead and use the base stock on the weapon as well to give it uh, more closely to the real life Graza 1. So this is the final version of the Graza 1 or the OTS 14 1A. Now, some things you'll notice here, as I said, the, the foregrip itself, you can see there is attached to the trigger guard. So in real life, mainly you could do this for sure because they did attach 40 millimeter GP25s or GP30s this way to this weapon. So you could attach it to the trigger guard like this. However, more commonly, you'll see it attached to its own customized type of barrel. It's really built into the barrel. You had an attachment that went on the barrel, which had the polymer foregrip on the weapon, which I'll show a picture of here right now. So you can see the difference between this wood grip and the polymer foregrip, which came on the customized barrel for the Graza variants. Now, also with the magazine here, this is actually a 9 by 9 by 39 magazine that would be on the Graza 4. You may recognize it very similar to the AS Val or the VSS Ventura's from Modern Warfare and even the magazines you see on the AKS 74U here in Cold War. It's it's mainly looks like the 9 by 9 9 by 39, excuse me, magazines. So it is inaccurately depicted on this weapon as well as on the AKS 74U. Other than that, that's really all there is for this weapon. You may notice some things. This is a bullpup weapon. It was really designed uh, for urban combat CQC engagements in Chechnya in the early 90s. So they developed this in 7.62 by 39 and then the version of the Graza 4 in 9 by 39, which is why they're using the 9 by 39 magazines on what is actually the Graza 1, which is chambered in 7.62 by 39. And here in game, this is chambered in 7.62 by 39, making this effectively the Graza 1. So let's go ahead now and we'll jump into the gameplay for this weapon. But first off, let's take a look at the appearance, what this looks like with different camouflages on this weapon. You can see it's going to cover mainly the upper receiver and the carrying handle. It looks pretty interesting with some of these attachments or the different uh, camouflages. However, I really wish it covered up the wood as well. I think that'd be a nice, nice addition, similar to how it does on some of the AK, specifically the AK-47 and Cold War covers a lot of the wood to make it look like a more modernized weapon. However, this fits this version of the weapon because it is uh it is all wood there was never from my knowledge a full polymer build besides the later graza 4 variant so that being said let's go ahead now and we'll jump into the actual gameplay for this weapon here in cold war multiplayer and you can see here we'll just jump in and we're running uh tdm here in game against bots so just to see how the weapon handles first off you'll notice i'm going to control the recoil here if we you can see the weapon inspect first off and you'll see you just view it and then you actually check the chamber for a bullet which you unfortunately can't see uh, your character model isn't holding the weapon up enough to actually see whether or not there's a chamber in or there's a bullet in the chamber unfortunately so that's one thing that's a little annoying because I really would like to see that You're similar with the, some of the other weapons you can still see if there's a bullet in the chamber or not so it seems like the animation on this maybe not have been 100% finished or maybe they just did that on purpose not sure but if we look at the recoil pattern for this weapon it's mainly going to be straight vertical a slight deviation to the left if we just let it rip without controlling it and then you'll see here when I when I control it and dump, I'll dump another full mag after I forgot to reload fully. But I'll dump another full mag and you'll see if I control it, you can keep this thing really on target. It seems like it's going to be very similar to something like a Ram 7. It's going to try and kick up into the left a little bit, uh, especially in Warzone. But again, very it's not too hard to control here in Black Ops. You can really control the recoil and mitigate it 100%, especially depending on the grip you're using. I'm not even using the best grip for the horizontal and vertical recoil control, but I'm still able to keep this on target and basically make this thing a laser. So... That's one thing. This is the, as I said, this thing in game fires 762 by 39, same as the AK 47. So making it effectively the Graza 1 of the OTS 14 1A. Now, some facts about this weapon. As I said, Graza is the Russian translation for Thunderstorm. The main designation for these weapons is the OTS 14 series. Now, they came chambered in 762 by 39, which is what we see here with the 1A version or the Graza 1 as it's translated to. And then there's also. The 9x39 version of the Graza 4, which is the 9x39, same as the AS Val and the BSS Ventura's. It's those subsonic SP6 rounds is typically what this that weapon came in. Now, as I said, it was designed for urban combat, mainly, mainly close quarters combat in Chechnya. And it was really designed to replace the AKS-74U. And interesting enough, internally, the weapon is almost, I believe, 70 or 80% exactly the same as the AKS-74U. This is really designed to replace the AKS 74U. However, it never really happened for whatever reason. But internally, it is the same, sharing a lot of the same internal parts as the AKS 74U. However, this is a bullpup variant, so they wanted a 
more longer barrel, a longer barreled rifle or a version of the AKS 74U that would be able to be used in close quarters or urban combat. So same, very similar to what we know of with the Ash 12, with the Shock 12, which is the Odin and Modern Warfare, and some other weapons. Is this basically Russia developing weapons for that? Same with the AS Val, the SR3, the SR3M, those 9x39 caliber weapons. So the OTS 14 or the Graza series of weapons has been in service since 1994 through present. The design period was in took place in 1990, so it's a little bit ahead of its time here in game since multiplayer is taking place in 1983-84. So it's about 10 years ahead of schedule here. However, uh, with the technology at the time, again, the the need for this weapon didn't really come up till the Chechnya Wars in the early 90s. They had weapons really established in the 80s, specifically with the new series of AKs, the AK-74 and the AKS 74s So it was developed in 1990s, in service since 1994 through present. Now. The production took place from 1992 to 1999. The mass overall for the Graza 1 or the OTS 14 1A is going to be around 2.93 kilograms. That's with a vertical foregrip. The length of the weapon overall is going to be 565 millimeters. The barrel length is going to be 415 millimeters. That's with the Graza 1 to 72 by 39, whereas the Graza 4 is going to be the barrel length. 240 millimeters and that one fires 9 by 39 subsonic ammunition with the sp6 and the sp5 overall for the cartridge again as i said the graza 4 which is the 9 by 39 version and the graza 1 the 762 by 39 version there was other versions that were also planned to be produced and i think there was some initial models made for the 545 by 39 and also 556 by 45 nato and the action for this is going to be a gas-operated rotating bolt with a rate of fire for the Graza 1 being 750 rounds per minute and the Graza 4 being 700 rounds per minute. The muzzle velocity on the Graza 1 is going to be 720 meters per second, whereas the Graza 4 is going to be 300 meters per second. And that's firing the 9 by 39 So you can see the heavy hit it takes to the muzzle velocity with that heavier caliber of the 9 by 39 The effective range for the Graza 1 is going to be 300 meters with a maximum firing range of 500 meters. And the feed system is a 20 round detachable box magazine. And then with the Graza 4, it has a 30 round detachable box magazine. Uh, very similar to the SR3 and the SR3Ms of that 9x39. It will also take AKM magazines for the Graza 1 and 7.62x39. It can take AKM magazines since it is firing the same caliber. And the Russians really like to have modularity between their weapons and be able to take the same magazine. So you'll see that with the SR3. The yeah, so now a lot of weapons can take the same weapons. Even the newer version of the AKs can take the old magazines as well. And then sights that did have attachments on the on the carrying handle to mount optics, as we see here in game with the Cobra Red Dot sight or the Viper, as you may know it from Modern Warfare. But that's really it for this weapon. Again, really nice weapon, built for close quarter CQC engagements. Uh, it handles really well in Cold War multiplayer, especially I leveled it up with zombies. Got a lot of multiplayer in with this when it first came out. Tons of fun to use, and in Warzone, it's actually I believe number. Five or six on the TTK overall, right behind the CR56 AMAX. So the, it's actually number four with the TTK being 477 milliseconds up close. So that's according to Jay God, who did all the testing. So number four TTK weapon in all of Warzone right now is the Graza. A lot of fun to use. And again, just some weird instances of them using the wrong magazines for this weapon. It's almost as if they modeled it for 9x39. Same way they modeled the AKS 74U to have 9x39 magazines along with cosmetic appearances of the AS Val and the VSS. So I'm not sure if they meant to have caliber conversions for this and just didn't have time based on the magazines that are in game or maybe uh, just a little lack of oversight and attention to detail. But overall, the Graza handles really well. It looks really nice here in game. Definitely a very good and fun weapon to use in close quarters and engagements. And like I said, in Warzone, number four in the overall TTK. So let me know down below what you guys think of this. This is the OTS 14-1A or the Graza 1. Graza standing for a thunderstorm. I'm gonna leave you guys with that. Till next time, Buffering Gaming, out.